Hey, what's going on there guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 scene and today we're gonna be talking about recharge, what I think of it, and when's the best time to use it. But first, show some love and support by watching the entire video, dropping a like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell should you miss out on any future videos. And also, be sure to join our VIP Patreon program for tips, monthly giveaways, live streams, all that good stuff. Link will be in the description below. And also, don't forget, if you wanna come and sesh with us, check out our grows and just chill with us, follow us on Instagram, link to that will also be in the description below so also before we get into today's video I want to remind you guys that we are going to be starting a new channel a second channel it's going to be like a music channel I'll let you guys know more information about it as we're making videos right now so that way when we do drop the channel name you're already going to have some content to watch because I know you guys have been really digging the music that I've been posting lately so I'm going to keep you guys informed on that and in case you haven't seen any clips yet I know it's on IG but in case you haven't seen it here's a little preview before before we get into our recharge video. So hopefully a lot of you rock guys definitely dug that. But anyway, a lot of you guys have been asking me about recharge and what it is and how often you should use it and the best time to use it. So I'm gonna cover as much as I can about recharge and when I feel it's the best time that you should use it and how often you should be using it. Recharge is made by a company called Real Growers. I don't know if you ever heard of them. And I first heard about it maybe a year ago and that was around the time when there was so much hype about recharge. Like, I mean, everybody and their brother was using it. So I figured I would give it a shot and see if it was a boom or bust product. So first off, let's go over what Recharge is. What I do know off the bat is that it's a microbial inoculant and the best way to put it is that it's like an all-in-one compost tea solution. So if you don't wanna sit there and brew your tea for 36 to 48 hours, Hey, the Recharge, could this could be for you, you know what I mean? And the first time that I used Recharge was during the Skittles series. If you, a lot of you guys remember that series back in the springtime, it was kind of the late winter, early spring. You guys remember that Skittles series though, right? I mean, it wasn't even that far long ago. And I just remember the explosive growth that I got from that series. Now, before we start giving this to your plants, it's a good thing to know what ingredients are in Recharge in the first place. This stuff has a lot of good stuff in it, like mycorrhiza, molasses, humic, and kelp. And if you're not familiar with what kelp is, it's pretty much just seaweed extract. Now that we know what recharge is, let's talk about application rates and how much you should be giving your plants. Me personally, I like to give them about half a teaspoon to one teaspoon per gallon mix. And you can apply recharge at any level, but I recommend starting after the second week of the veg stage. A lot of people have been asking me, should you give your recharge every watering or every other watering? And I recommend giving your plants recharge maybe 10 to 14 days or even every 21 days. You don't have to give it every other feeding. You don't have to give it during every feeding or anything like that. And I usually give it to them just once during the veg stage and once during the flowering stage. So like I said, you don't have to give the recharge to your plants all the time. It's not really necessary. And another big question that a lot of you guys have been asking me is should your recharge replace the fish crap? You remember the fish crap I did a few weeks ago? Well, and honestly, I like to give my plants both. They're both going to be beneficial to your soil and rooting system. Recharging fish crap is not the same thing. I know some people kind of think it's the same thing, but it's really not. You wouldn't replace your compost tea with just fish crap. It's not the same thing. You would just use both. I use both, same thing applies. The next thing is the question of whether you should be using Recharge or Great White. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about Great White. Now, both products are very similar in the sense that they contain lots of mycorrhizal fungi, but both are still kind of different because Recharge has molasses and kelp, whereas Great White doesn't. I don't think it has kelp. I know for sure it doesn't have molasses, but I mean, both are still gonna enhance vigorous root growth, but Recharge is still gonna be a lot less expensive 
which is why I always tell people to use recharge over great white. You pretty much get more bang for your buck. At least that's just my opinion. But if you already bought great white before you watch this video, just use up what you have and then try out recharge in your next run or whenever you run out pretty much. I don't really like to promote a lot of products out there, but just like fish crap from Fish Head Farms, recharge by real growers is another great product where you're definitely going to be seeing improvements on your grow. You can also use recharge as a foliar spray for your seedlings. So what I like to do is I like to start my seedlings off in a coconut husk starter pot. I know I mentioned this in so many videos. Let the roots hang out in the germination kit and use a foliar spray to hit the roots. I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, I, you know, we can't have roots exposed or anything like that, I, I know. Now, here's the thing though, this is only gonna work in a germination kit since you have high humidity levels, which means that your roots are not gonna be drying out as opposed to if you just kinda had it in a room with not that much humidity, your roots are gonna dry out. Water retention, I mean, that's the biggest thing here, right? Now, my germination kit usually has about 80% humidity consistently, but of course, it's still good to use a spray bottle, you know, maybe like once every morning or once every two days, you know, to kinda to maintain that humidity so that way your roots won't dry out. And at this point, that's the most important thing here, water retention, like I just mentioned. And if you're wondering what germination kit I use, I recommend the Sun Blaster and it comes with an LED light strip. So not to get off topic, but I know a lot of you guys have been asking me what type of germination kit I recommend, but the point I'm trying to make here is that you can use Recharge mixed in as a foliar spray as well. So just as a recap, it's pretty much an all-in-one compost tea solution and you can give it to them every 14 to 20 days. So just as a recap, it's pretty much an all-in-one compost tea solution that you can just give to your plants every 14 to 21 days. You can give them recharge every other watering, but me personally, like I said before, I just don't really see a point. It's a great mycorrhizal product that really enhances root growth. So hopefully I've given you guys a better understanding on what recharge is, how often you should use it, and if it's a product that's gonna be great for you. Now before I close off today's video, I wanna thank everyone on screen for supporting us on Patreon since February. I really do appreciate the support, guys. So I'm gonna close off today's video. Be sure to drop a fat thumbs up, drop that fat like, and subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, stay safe. Peace.